is going on? This is Rayhan from Ready Tech, and today we are covering the uh, Nord CE2 Lite 5G. This phone is from OnePlus, and um, the reason I want to cover this phone is I think this is a fantastic buy in terms of what you're getting for the specs. You guys all know very well that I'm a big fan of you know value per dollar, so I want to cover the specs real quick. This is actually a 5G phone, so that means you're going to get you're going to be able to get 5G um, access through all your SIMs, uh, mostly throughout the world, depending on where you are. Uh, 6.59 inch five uh, in 6.59 inch display with a 1080p. 1080 by 2412 panel. Um, it's got a Snapdragon 695 uh, processor with 8 gigs RAM and <clears throat> and 128 gigabyte of storage and uh, 5,000 milliamp battery as well. You can see that it's actually got Android 12 running on it right now. I want to show you guys real quick. So if I go down to about um, you've got Android 12 running on it right now, and in terms of the cameras, you've got a 64 megapixel camera with uh, f1.7 with ultra wide lens, and you've also got two two megapixel macro and depth camera as well. So in total, you've got three cameras here, and there's the uh, the LED flash there as well. And in terms of the front camera, you've got the front selfie at 16 megapixel camera as well and the cool thing about this obviously you know it's kind of an extinct thing but you've got also um if that comes into focus a little bit the headphone jack there as well it charges by type c um there are the speakers right there which i'll get into in a little bit as well um, on the side you've got the power up and down button there is the sim card slot and also you've got the power, sorry, I meant the uh, volume up and down button. And you've got the power button right there as well, which also is a fingerprint scanner. So if I touch it, it's going to unlock. I don't know if I did set it up here or not, but it, it does work uh, most of the time and uh, really well, actually. Um, the last few things, it's got Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.2 um, and USB type C that I mentioned the really great thing about this in this price point is that it has NFC built in so um, I don't know if it's actually going to show NFC here yeah it does right there so it's, it's actually got NFC built in so if you are used to using Google Wallet and NFC to pay you can just go ahead and tap and it's going to work fine and dandy with that as well. Um, the last thing as well is that it's got face unlock and I want to show you guys this face unlock. It is super, super fast. So if I just do this, there it is. It's unlocked and I'm going to try that out a few times. And in terms of the speed of this face unlock and the accuracy, it has never missed. And the speed of it is almost, um, I would say it beats flagship phones in terms of the speed and accuracy on the face unlock you've also got the uh, if you don't want to use the face unlock you've got the side uh, fingerprint scanner on the power button there and all those specs i just covered um, you get all of that a uh, for 350 dollars which is absolutely insane right um, and that's normal price. That's not even a sale price or anything like that. Maybe you could find in the holiday season coming up, but $350 for this, for all those specs mentioned, amazing, amazing, uh, amazing value. Now, you know, to cover the pros of this really quick is, um, you know, the, the screen actually is a 90 Hertz display panel. So very smooth. If you're coming from anything that's not 90 Hertz, you're going to notice, and it's not going to come across on camera because of how, uh, YouTube does the rendering on their videos, but extremely smooth. Um, and in terms of the One UI, sorry, the not the One UI, the OnePlus Oxygen OS UI, very fluid, very smooth, very easy to use. You can see just when I'm like scanning or scrolling through things, um, how 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 fluid that is, right? Um, really, really nice to see that OnePlus in terms of how they really tweak their operating systems and everything like that um really really great to see how fast and fluid they can make that as well i already talked about the face unlock how super uh fast it is really really um reliable on that piece as well and one thing i wanted to show you guys which is kind of different than any other phone here is if you swipe from the left you get obviously the notifications panel but they did something cool similar to you know um i would say 
um, Apple iPhones, if you swipe from the right, you get this kind of drop down. Um, I would say a drop down UI. They, they didn't really mention what, what this is or what the name is, but this is more of the customizational panel that you can edit and access. So you'll notice that, you know, the first thing when I do this is you can actually change the never settle thing to say whatever you want. Um, you can search right away. You have your music player. I have my calendar ready to go to see what's going, what's coming, what's going on, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, then I have my weather. Wow. It's going to be really cold. Uh, then I have the quick apps that I want to use, you know, a notepad, and then obviously it's counting my steps and stuff like that as well. So, you know, a quick drop down menu of everything that you want to see really quick. Um, really, really easy and convenient. I absolutely adore any manufacturer that does this because it's really just an easy piece for me to swipe down from the right and see what's going on in my day. Um, okay, so the second last thing I wanted to show you guys is obviously the audio. The audio on this is really good. I'm going to show you the quality on it right now with a video, but um, really loud and clear quality. Um, maybe I can check this out here. Let's go to 4K. We're going to go to YouTube. So you can tell, you know, in terms of the quality of the audio, the speaker is just one sided. Unfortunately, it's just coming out of this thing here. But you know what? Not not too bad. Not too bad at all. And the last pro um, that I wanted to mention is actually the cameras. So if I just go to obviously you've got three, a three set piece hanging out here. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick how these cameras look and I'm going to pull away from a second here and I'm going to show you this picture here. This is just me snapping my top living room and you can see how messy it is with my kid running around and making a mess everywhere but just looking look, look at that quality it, it really good and that's not me adjusting any brightness levels or anything like that just snapping it really quick like how a camera should be. Um, you can see here as well you've got the sunspot there um, and I'm gonna show you a picture of my son as well and look at the portrait mode on this one as well um, I would say you know really really good quality for for what you're getting for the camera and I would say the selfie mo selfie camera as well is also really really good okay all right, so last but not least, let's go to the cons quick. I don't have too many cons on this because I think this phone is a great value for what you're getting for the price. The major, major con I'll say is that the odd, sorry, the video quality, um, the video, the display isn't that great. It's not sharp and it's really got bad color accuracy. So if I kind of show you a video here, I'm going to put the volume down. And, you know, this is a 4K video. Obviously, it's not going to render in 4K, but this is 1080p. I don't feel like this is a 1080p display in the sense that um, I'm just not feeling the colors, the sharpness, the color accuracy. It looks a little mute, not really contrasty, not really vivid. Now, you can change a little bit of that in the settings. But if you notice, you know, it's, it's not what I'm kind of used to. Even in this price point, I've seen... Um, a little bit better quality on the on the display. So the display, um, you can get away with it, not too bad. Um, but you know, you know, I think there's better displays out there for that price. So guys, that's really it. That was the only con I could realistically find of this phone, um, which is saying a lot, right? Which is saying a lot because if there's only one con, and I've covered about you know seven different pros, would I recommend this to somebody? And is it worth it? Absolutely. Resounding yes. 100% worth it for $350. And that's USD. Um, I think it's a great phone. I think OnePlus has done a great job. It, the, biggest, the biggest sellers is that it's going to have 5G connectivity. It's going to have NFC. 
Um, it's going to have the newest Bluetooth. The face unlock is just fantastic, it's very speedy. Um, the phone itself is just it's just super smooth. I, I I would honestly say this phone is faster than my iPhone 14 or iPhone 13, any of those newer iPhones. It's actually smoother and faster and more responsive than any of the iPhones, any of the Samsungs as well. And I think a lot of that has to do with the Oxygen OS that um, um, OnePlus has tweaked in here. So you know what? Great phone, great value for the price. Um, other than that, guys, that's been it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video if you did, and comment down below. I respond to every type of comment that you guys uh, sent me. And other than that, until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.